There was a roast that said DNA is the blueprint of life and RNA is just a photocopy. Necessary, but always a bit faded and never quite as good as the original. Me from a couple of years ago would totally agree. But after learning about RNA more, I would like to argue that it is actually a common misconception. And here's what I've learned. RNA molecules are not just DNA's unappreciated understudy. It is not always the single-stranded strain like what is presented here in this cartoon structure or this meme over here. It too can form elaborate structures, and those structures play pivotal roles in our cells, not only to carry genetic messages transcribed from our DNA, but also to regulate key processes. Hello everyone, my name is Tina Jiayufu, and I am a second-year PhD student at the Interdisciplinary Biological Sciences program in Julius Lux's lab here at Northwestern University. And today, I am going to give you a glimpse into the realm of RNA biology, specifically focusing on RNA and RNA polymerase interactions in RNA folding and function. I understand that in this post-pandemic era, when people hear RNA, they immediately think about the mRNA vaccines or some other fancy biotechnological applications. However, in our lab, we delve into the fundamental science of RNA biology. But don't worry, this is not a biology lesson, so just bear with me. Imagine that you have a map and a car with GPS tracking abilities. You can see where you have been from the traces on the map. If you're driving in a busy city, you can drive to draw some straight lines, but you can also drive out some intricate images along the map. That is true for RNA polymerase and RNA function. Your DNA acts as the map, and your RNA polymerase, which is the protein machine that transcribes your RNA, is the car with the GPS. As the RNA polymerase starts transcribing, RNA is synthesized. It begins to fold into intricate structures, just like when you start driving the car and the GPS make traces. However, just like when you're trying to draw a pretty image with a car, you need to know when to stop the GPS. Your RNA polymerase also need to stop at specific locations so that it can form the structures to perform its functions. But here's the catch. How and when RNA folds can be influenced by the interactions with the RNA polymerase itself. I am particularly interested in this final step to see how RNA polymerase stop, specifically investigating how the upstream sequence from the terminator will influence the RNA polymerase's ability to stop. We know, like putting an end of road sign can make your car stop. There are some sequences that direct RNA polymerases to stop. But just like you can drop a huge boulder on your car to stop it, I think there are some other ways to stop the RNA polymerase as well. If the RNA structures that are just synthesized are too bulky, it's going to stop the RNA polymerase as well. Because how these RNA fold during their formation can significantly affect their function, our research tries to understand the rules that govern these folding and function. Is there a generalizable rule that maybe we can exploit so that the RNA polymerase always stop where we wanted it to stop? We aim to uncover new insights into cellular processes and potentially new therapeutic targets for diseases. You can say that we're trying to collect some small answers that will eventually help us address some big questions. To wrap up, RNA is far more than just a photocopy of DNA. It is an intricate molecule with structures and functions that are vital to the workings of our cells. Our ongoing research aims to uncover the rules that govern RNA folding and function at RNA termination sites, providing insights that could lead to new therapeutic targets for various diseases. Thank you for watching. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science.